Bears. Thanks for coming back. I was thinking to myself, I wonder if they think that I'm sitting home with my feet up. Nope. Ah, journey's end. I was blowing leaves off the roof there. So, the first thing I need to do today, Babes wants to get started in the house. As soon as we get the check for mom's house, and there's still a lot of crap in here. So we gotta get rid of the crap. I've been, I blew leaves off the driveway. That's about all I uh, managed to accomplish. We don't have um, a lot of light. Look at these teeny tiny keys. Uh, and we do have lights in here. Um, but, yeah. He wants to, uh, he wants to get started. So, this is what's left of the stuff that the previous owners left behind. Everything else I've either sold or thrown out or uh, moved to the barn. Over here we've got some furniture. I've had these on Facebook Marketplace. Um, haven't gotten any bites on them. So we'll probably just throw them in my trailer and put them on my curb. Let's see what else we got. Last time we were here, Babes ripped out the ceiling and the walls and exposed the open area. Let me show you what it looks like from the door when you walk in. This one, you walk in the back door. So this open area here is going to be uh, the living room slash dining room. So we're thinking at the moment, I want a bigger kitchen. So I still got to fight that out with babes. <laughs> but yeah, this was, uh, you can see where the floor ends. This is where that little kitchen was. Uh, this was a bedroom. Um, this was like a, like a family room. And this room here was just this little tiny room that you had to walk through. This was the door that separated the two units um, when they originally had um, senior and junior living here. So this side, looking this way, was bathroom, kitchen, bedroom, living space. And then this is the original outside of the house before they uh, added the addition. And this part is the addition. So up here is, you can see, see those, see those beams coming down? Those are trusses. So from here to that wall is all trusses. So there's no supporting walls. So we opened that whole thing up. So on this side, there are not trusses, which we did not know that originally. Babes discovered that after we went up in the attic. So his thought here is he wants to do a vaulted ceiling here. And this would be the kitchen. So we got more walls to tear out. That can't get torn out or something. I forget what he said about that. Something about the supporting wall, but I'm not. I, yeah, I'm just going to stay out of it for now. <laughs> so this is the main bathroom. This would be half pints bedroom. We're getting rid of the mattress and the bed. And then this room here will be the master bedroom. 
and over here, which is where the main kitchen was for this side of the house. Still got some stuff to get rid of out of here. This is all getting torn out. Um, and this is going to be a bathroom with just a stand-up shower. And something along the lines of a closet. Uh, I think we're still working out the details of there. And this is the basement door that'll stay there. This is the door out to the front porch. That's closest to the road. Oh, it's nice out there. I should leave this open. Because this place is still very stinky. And there's uh, the main entrance, which we've never used. We always go in the back door near the driveway. There's the windows that Babe salvaged. It's actually two sets of windows. So we'll have to talk more about that. But this, all this stuff is left over from the previous owners, um, with the exception of a couple of things. But we need to get all this stuff out so babes can rip up carpets and start tearing out walls and not have to work around stuff. So the saga of stuff has not ended. <laughs> There's a little bit of more stuff back here. Back porch. I think he said that he's going to take out all that screening um, there and just leave it open. I don't know. We're more concerned with the inside right now. But at least we don't have this weird zigzag anymore. We'll just be able to walk straight through. And the hardwood floors are in really nice shape. Um, but they're not throughout the house. They're throughout this side of the house, not that side. But, yeah. So, this is definitely not the starting point. If you're new to my channel, um, we acquired this a little over a year ago. And uh, we've done quite a bit already, but it certainly isn't livable. Babe says that he's going to make it livable <laughs> in six months. That's his new, uh, new deadline, I guess. I'm thinking no, but whatever. But we're going to start uh, by pulling out the stuff that uh, isn't worth keeping um, and the rest of it has to find a home in the barn. So because the barn is busting at the seams, I'm going to have to say that the keep portion of this stuff is going to be pretty low. <laughs> Let's see, what else can I show you? Oh, I could show you the barn is going out to the back porch. I lost my coffee. I'm always losing my coffee. So we still have a scrap pile out here to deal with before it snows. So that's all scrap from the trailer. Um, that's scrap from the trailer and some shelving that we didn't use. That's more scrap and that is burn. And then this is where the tractor was left after the last time we were here. So we need to uh, we need to get out and <coughs> start up the burn pit. Let's walk back there. You can see things really well because most of the leaves have come down. This is. Uh, the shed. We also have a lot of work to do in here. No rest for the weary. So right now we've been putting 
our tools and stuff, but there's a lot of stuff that was left over also from the previous owner. So this is going to be, um, this is going to be the tool, all things tools that's not in the house that's babe's using. And we're probably, well, technically, I guess we can park our motorcycles uh, in the garage at home, but we got to go through this and we still haven't, uh, seen if, check to see if that little tractor is salvageable. Got the back of the shed had some additional, uh, storage space, which has completely fallen down. So we need to disassemble that. Burn that up. There's that cute little potting shed. So I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that our burn pit is <laughs> pretty covered. I have to ask babes how we're gonna how to make it safe so that we can burn stuff again there's a lot of leaves and I'm sure as heck not raking this up. Nope. No way. And there's more burn piles back here. Uh, stuff that needs to be burned. It's all ready to be burned. And I know we have a lot of ash to dig out, but this is our little, our little burn area. Nice big burn pit. Yep. All we see is woods. Woods, 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 and oh, some woods. Oh, I smell some kind of um, herb or something. There's a couple of red-headed woodpeckers that I've seen pretty consistently that are going to need names. They look like they've been hanging out. Crunching on the leaves. Have a lot of work to do in the barn to get the shipping slash office set up. So that we can get orders shipped out and babes needs to make me some hot water we're gonna get a hot water on demand thing for the barn it's probably gonna work overtime this winter but after that it won't these are the shelves that came out of the trailer And yeah, see there's some stuff in the, oh, let me turn on the light. There's some stuff in the aisles and they're not allowed to be in the aisles. This is the lamp and lighting department. Uh-huh. This stuff's got to get cleared out. But each aisle has been packed 
according to category. Oh, got some things in the aisle down there. This is glassware and pottery. And once I have stuff washed and comped, I'm hoping some people will come and shop. Make this go a little faster. <laughs> this is the toy department. Lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff. This is uh, toys, records, arts and crafts. And you can see that lamps line the top of the shelves. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of lamps. And more lamps here. And this is where the art artwork ended up. Small frames and cameras and other stuff like that is also back here. And then this area Starting down below is the library. Oh yeah, we're gonna have some book sales. So anyone that thinks, oh, I'm so sad that Jan's journey is over. <laughs> yeah, not even remotely, not even remotely and this is a great big wide aisle and that was from uh the second to last trip we didn't even bother putting away we just dropped it and uh yeah shipping room now down this aisle here is um, smalls, jewelry, and this is a line of file cabinets for ephemera and lawn chairs. <laughs> and the shipping office is absolutely chaos right now. That's going to be my desk area. Packing, yeah, and any boxes that were worth saving after we were done moving... We just toss them in here, so they need to be broken down. See, there's stuff packed for people. Just got to figure out who. There's Babe's wall that he started with little things that he wants to keep. The bathroom needs a door. This is the weighing station up here, along with the coffee reheater. Coffee's not in there. There is the heater for this room because this room is insulated. So Babes needs to attach that and hang the heater up there. And he's also got to get a door uh, for this. So this stuff has got to go. But yeah. The journey is far from over. It's just a new chapter, new location. So I will be uh, live tomorrow on Wednesday night. And uh, yeah, we'll either uh, finish cleaning out the stuff in the house or uh, start working and organizing the barn. So the faster we get that done, the faster we can get back to good stuff. Like tales and sales from Journey's End. Like and subscribe. Share with your friends. The journey's not over. It's just beginning. <laughs>